Hello everyone and welcome to module seven. In today's training, you will learn how to schedule our marketing campaigns um, and get them sent out. Um, you're gonna be learning how to schedule the email marketing that you created in module two. Um, now I'm going to show you how to actually make sure that that campaign gets out to our, uh, our buyers list and um, how often you're supposed to schedule it. So I'm going to open up our Mozilla browser. Again, guys, I want to thank you for hanging in there um, and taking the time to learn these modules. Again, they're very important to the success um, and to your position. So um, just uh, taking the time to get through them and learn them the correct way is extremely important. And again, I want to thank you for, for doing that. Um, throughout this process if you ever get stuck or have any questions please again feel free to reach out to me my job is to make sure that everything runs smoothly for you and that you fully understand everything that you're supposed to be doing um, in a step-by-step -step format so that we don't miss any steps so um, without um, any further delay i'm going to open up our mozilla mozilla uh, browser we're going to be going into godaddy you're going to sign in Again, you've already been sent the username and passcodes for this. By now, you probably are getting very comfortable with this website. You're going to, once you click visit, uh, what is this? You need to revalidate your account. What is all this? Okay. All right, we're in. Um, you're going to go to the email marketing tab. Go over to the right, click manage. Once you're in here, you're going to see uh, it's going to place you in the dashboard. Now, this is the dashboard where you're creating all of your email marketing pieces that you uh, made in module two, or you learned how to make in module number two. So um, now that you're back here, you're going to find the particular campaign that you want to schedule, or it might be multiple campaigns that you're scheduling. In this example, we're going to use rare find and ronhurst let's say this is the one we're going to be sending out again after you've confirmed that everything works in here um, all the links are accurate and they actually take you to where they're supposed to um, you want to uh, and how you can do that again just to make sure is you can click on the edit button here once you're in here you can click on all the links the links will be either in red like this one rare find priced right if you click on that oh, excuse me before you do that, you actually need to press preview. Preview will open up a page that that will let you actually test your links. So you'd click on here. You just want to make sure that all of the links are taking you back to exactly where you expect them to be. The link, this would be a, a link would be in this picture also. You'd want to make sure that goes back to the correct page that you created in module one. Module one, you learned how to create a web page uh, with all the property details information, and you're just making sure that the links take you back to where it's supposed to. Another link you would check is this Realtors Earn 3% Commission. Again, that should take you to our Realtors tab on our website. And the More Info tab should take you to the Property Details page where you can see a slideshow of other pictures, download the comps or the property condition report. Okay, so let's get out of that. Now, if you, once you're convinced that all of your links work and the piece is good to go, you're just going to click the Edit button in the bottom left-hand corner. Let me close this out. That will take you right back to this page right here. So um, you don't need, once you're convinced that, again, that it works, you don't need to edit anything else. You can go right back to the dashboard. So click the dashboard tab. Again, you want to find your campaign that you're working on. In this one, it's Rare Find in Ronhurst. To schedule it is real simple. You, there's a little icon here that I'm circling that looks like a clock. You want to click on that. It says view your schedules. When you click on it, here this screen opens. You're going to schedule it here. So first you want to start out by uh, clicking the date. It says here the 2nd of March. If Today is the 2nd of March, so if I wanted to schedule it for tomorrow or let's say Friday, I would click Friday the 4th. You'll see that the 4th has now been selected. To move the time, you can do it one of two, uh, several different ways. You can either move this, this circle the, when you slide the circle down towards the uh, the front, it represents the beginning of the day. Uh, towards the right, it represents the end of the day. You can see the sun actually rising and setting as you slide. 
we usually want to set our start time for somewhere around 9 o'clock. It can be 9.05, it really doesn't matter. The other, you want to make sure it's a.m., not p.m., and then the other way you can set the time is by simply clicking in the time box. If I wanted to select 9.05, you would just press that. You want to next press save, and then continue. Um, the it brings you up to the next box for recipients. You're going to choose who you're going to send this email uh, blast out to. You're going to select three lists here. The first one will be cash buyers and wholesalers from MLS. You're going to click include. The other list is going to be realtors of cash buyers. Click include. And then VIP buyers. Click include. You do not want to click all subscribers. You do not want to click private lenders. And you do not want to click wholesalers out of state. After this is done, press save. Go back and click continue. Under the details tab now, you can see up here, um, you want to confirm that the subject line is correct. You will know that you should know that it is correct because, you, again, you created this campaign. Uh, you learned how to determine what this subject line should be um, by taking it off of the uh, worksheet that you've been working from, which looks like, or the daily log sheet, which looks like this. If you'll notice in column Y, it says email campaign subject line title. Again, that's what you've already used to determine what the subject line is over here. You always want to make sure enable link tracking is checked. Make sure Facebook is checked and LinkedIn is checked. Press save. And then you want to click schedule. This is where you're going to verify if your information is correct. Um, it's going to say from, it's Gateway Wholesale Homes, that's us, me. That is who it's going to, these three lists that you've selected. The total recipients is here. And you want to make sure that your schedule time is correct. Again, we selected Friday, so it was uh, March 4th at 9.05 a.m. Once this looks good, you want to click on Looks Good, Schedule It. You'll get the status bar showing you that it's creating it. Then the dashboard will open back up. You want to scroll down to the campaign you just worked on, you just scheduled. And you'll notice now the clock is highlighted in red, the little clock schedule where it says view your schedules. Now that is in red. I will also get an email notification down here. It says GoDaddy, your email campaign has been scheduled. So that lets me know that it's done. If you want to see the schedule when you're in here on your own, you simply click on the red uh, clock. You scroll down and right here under future scheduled mailings, you'll see it with a green dot. The green means that it's set to go. You will see that it's scheduled for Friday, March 4th at two, uh, uh, 2016 at 9.05 a.m. And it's being sent out to three different lists. If you need to edit this campaign for any reason, you would simply click the pencil icon. If you need to uh, cancel this, you can press the trash can. Um, icon and then I guess you again you would go in there make whatever uh, edits you need to and press save and make sure that you only have one in here saved you don't want to go through this process twice because what will happen is under future scheduled mailings you will have two separate times this email is scheduled to go out you want to make sure there's only one per day not two per day then you're just gonna click um, save now I'm going to cancel this out because, of course, I do not want this to go out. We've already sent it. But this is how you schedule a um, time for the email uh, campaigns to go out. Typically speaking, now let me explain this. Typically speaking, our campaigns go out on a Monday morning, Tuesday morning, Wednesday morning, and Friday morning. We skip Thursday. Um, once each campaign uh, or once this campaign has gone out four times in the first week that we are marketing this property, the second week we are changing the subject line to read something like price reduced. That's why if you look over here in the right hand section under a list of the campaigns we currently have, you will notice there's one in here called price reduced. If if and when that second week comes around and we have not sold or put the property under contract, we will start reducing the price and we will uh, market it with a campaign that says price reduced or half price house. I will instruct you what to do and how to work it. But again, you would just create this by opening it or finding it. Here it goes right here. You would simply either copy it 
or you'd be creating a new one and using this one as a template or something like this. We'll discuss how that needs to be done um, on your status update sheet though. Um, any information again you need, you can find it through your spreadsheet over here in Excel. So um, that's that. It really is pretty simple. Generally, I do not get ahead of myself and make multiple schedules, meaning Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Friday all in advance. The reason why I don't do that is because for all we know, this property may sell or may go under contract on a Tuesday and therefore we won't need to resend that property information out for Wednesday or Friday because it's already uh, it's already under contract. So again, this um, is where this is where your uh, your managing skills are going to come into place because you want to make sure that these advertising campaigns are always consistent with what we currently have um, that we're advertising. You don't want to send out any information that is old in here. So again, between your spreadsheets and between communicating with me, you should always be uh, we should always be on the same page as far as what camp what marketing pieces need to get sent out. Um, and that's that. When you're done, you're going to exit the web uh, the GoDaddy email marketing. Um, so that way I can jump in it if I need to. Um, and that is it. Again, thank you for taking the time to learn this training module. Um, again, your success is very much tied in to my success. So um, it's my goal to give you all the support that you need and uh, make sure that you become an expert at this. Um, again, thanks uh, for taking the time and I look forward to uh, connecting with you again in the next module.